Hello, this is Sharif Abu Zaid again, and in this new video, I'm going to show you how you can customize your WooCommerce checkout process to make it much easier for your students to buy your online courses created with tutorial elements. Now, let me show you what I mean. So, this is the typical checkout process for WooCommerce. When someone tries to buy this course, they will just click Add to Cart, and then view their cart, review their order information, and then proceed to checkout to pay for their online course. And in the checkout process or in, in, inside the checkout page, they can add their email address, add their billing details and choose their payment gateway, whether this is PayPal or Stripe or whatever payment gateway you have set up inside your WooCommerce settings. Now, let me show you the second experience, which is which make it much easier for your students to buy your online courses. So this is another course similar to the previous one. And now when someone tries to buy this course, they will just click add to cart and directly they will be added to or redirected into a checkout page where they can review their order information, add their email address, add their billing information or billing details. And even you can get rid of or hide any fields that you don't like. For example, I don't like to have my um, um, address fields, so I can just hide these fields. And of course, they can choose their payment gateway, uh, whether this is PayPal or Stripe. I think the second experience make it much easier for your students to buy their online courses and this is the topic of this video i'm going to show you how you can set up this much faster checkout process but before i show you this please consider to subscribe to my youtube channel because this video is part of my 100 video creation challenge where i create a video for youtube every single day for 100 days and of course your subscription will be a great support for me during this challenge now let me show you how you can do this inside your wordpress dashboard of course, the first step that you need to take is to create an online course using Tutor LMS and then connect this online course with a WooCommerce product. If you don't know how you can do this, I leave a link down below for another video where I explained this process very briefly. Once you do this, now we can start customizing the checkout process for our WooCommerce product. To customize the checkout process, we need to install another plugin called CartFlows. And this is a free plugin. There is a premium plugin for this or a premium copy for the uh, CartFlows plugin, but we don't need it for this video. So to install the new plugin, you simply go to uh, plugins and then click add new. And in the search bar, you write CartFlows. And this is the plugin that we need to install and activate. There are two copies of CartFlows, a premium one and a free one. For this video, I'll be using only the free one to customize my checkout process. Now, once you install and activate the plugin, you'll find a new item called flows inside the left uh, menu of WordPress. So let's go to first, let's go to the settings. And here you need to choose which page builder that you like to use inside or you are using inside the WordPress website, whether you are using Elementor, Beaver Builder, Divi Spectra, or any other page builder, because Cart Flows comes with a bunch of templates that you can use to customize your checkout process. For example, you'll find like multiple uh, templates here. Some of them are uh, comes with or come with the pro copy and some of them are free. I'll be using a free template for this course. And these templates have been created uh, with using Beaver Builder, Divi and other on many other page builders. So you need definitely to choose which page builder that you like to use for these templates. Once you do this, now you can simply start creating your flow, which is the funnel that will be used to customize your WooCommerce checkout process you can do this by going to flows and you simply click add new to add a new flow and then you need to choose a funnel or a, a template from these templates i like to use this one this one will give you three steps the landing page and the checkout page and also a thank you page i will choose this one and click import and this and then give this a name and click import flow and give it some time to be imported now will be redirected into the funnel or the flow itself as you can see, the flow has imported three pages, a landing page, a checkout page, and also a thank you page. You can use the landing page to sell the course itself. If you don't, if you like to disregard the course page created by TutorLMS, you can definitely do this and just choose this landing page to use it to display or show the benefits of your online course. But for this video, I like to uh, use the standard uh, page or the standard course page created by TutorLMS. So I'll just click here and then delete this page. I will just confirm here. And now we have two pages. The first step that we need to take is to choose a product for the checkout page. So let's go and click edit. And under products, we need to choose our product from here. So let's click add a new product and let's search for our product. And this is the product that have been or has been connected with our tutorial MS course. So let's click add product. Now we are almost ready to start selling our online course using this checkout page. But still you can 
change some of the pricing in this page for example if you like to give a discount you can give this discount from here for example i like to give a price discount and make the price of this course like um, 97 instead of 197 and also make sure that you click save settings and also i like to um, get rid of the unnecessary form fields inside the checkout page so i just go to form fields and i will just disable the coupon field disable the additional field as well and the shipping address and choose customize the the um, field editor so i will just need to hide the company name region country street address and you can simply do this by checking here in this icon to hide all of these uh, fields i think they are unnecessary and let's click save settings and let's go back and now let's view this page in incognito mode so let's click here and let's click incognito mode as you can see this is our new beautiful checkout page of course you can customize this page and you can simply do this by going to the page again and then click edit and here you need to click edit design and here of course you can you know change this title add some maybe some images or testimonials to this page if you like to do this now our checkout page is ready to be used let's go back again to the flow itself and we have now the thank you page let's click edit to edit this page again and here you will find two tabs this design tab and the settings tab i like to use the default settings for this checkout page but of course you can play with the rest of these um, uh, fields of like to hide the over order overview like you can do this from here but i just like to leave them as default and for the design if i click edit design and of course here you can again you can design this page to whatever you want you can customize this thank you message you can um, edit the button link to maybe to redirect people to the course page itself so they can start studying their online course and you can add whatever items you like inside this page now this flow is almost ready to be used to sell our online course created by Tutorial MS. But still there is one last step that we need to take which is connect our product page with this flow. And this can be easily done by going to the uh, all products and then click all products here. And this is the product page connected with our Tutorial MS course. So let's click edit. And here under the product data you'll find a new item called cart flows you can see this once you activate and install the cart flows plugin so let's click here and now we need to connect this product with the flow that we have created so let's click select flow and let's search for our flow and let's click update now we can start setting our online course created with tutorial ms using this checkout page now let me open the course page in incognito mode and test this out with you so this is the course page the same course page that we opened at the beginning of the video which had the typical woocommerce checkout process now let's test this with the new checkout process so let's click add to cart and as you can see i have been redirected into the checkout page without going through any additional steps and here i can add my email address and only my first name and last name choose by my payment gateway whether this is paypal or stripe which has been set up inside the woocommerce and they will just click place order and pay for the price of this course i think this is a much easier checkout process for your online course students if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and please consider to subscribe to my youtube channel to support me during my 100 video creation challenge for youtube now thank you so much and see you in the next video bye for now